John Dinsmore, Doors Drummer. Shout out to Native Americana Audio Cafe. John, this is a magical transistor. I got it in a 67 Newport Chrysler. It was a used car and it was in a trunk, but the car had been dented by a bear. So it had bear power and the car was owned by a shaman and it's magical. And if you put your ear to it, like a seashell, you hear the ocean, but this, you hear John Densmore on the Native Americana Audio Cafe. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Let's hear your rant. Hey, well, uh, I wanted to start by saying, uh, you'll recognize these lyrics. Um, there are drums beyond the mountain, Indian drums you cannot hear. There are drums beyond the mountain and they're getting mighty near. Uh, as you know, that's uh, Peter Lafarge because uh, you produced that song with me and Floyd Red Crow Westerman. And um, it makes me think about uh, this virus that's going on and Indian prophecy, the Indian drums, who, who knew there was going to be tough times like this way back. That's the cannot hear part. And um, so I'm just thinking about all of that. And um, what else? I wrote some notes I wanted to say here. Uh, it's Memorial Day, right? So, yes. Um, you know, I'm thinking about that too. Uh, native cultures uh, have this wonderful warrior spirit and, uh, but I came up during the Vietnam time um, where, where the elders lied to us. And so, it, it, uh, and, and of course, like the virus, um, this time and that time during Vietnam was very hard on uh, minorities. And so there's a connection there. And so I'm, I'm uh, flag waving makes me nervous because of that. Uh, the only uh, American flag portrait I like is behind my son's bed. And in front of the flag is a, a Native American in full powwow regalia, which makes me feel good. So uh, that's a bit of our rant. Um, what do you think, Keith? What's up? Well, I think it's uh, words of wisdom. I think the, the, you know, the blind patriotism has led us down so, to some uh, bad holes before and and for native artists, a lot of native artists are seeing this time as a time to reflect and to regenerate ourselves and, yeah. and uh, are very respectful, uh, respectful of distance and space and protecting our precious um, elders and people. And so a, a lot of artists are, are looking at this time almost as a cocoon kind of thing, you know, like waiting yeah. for the butterfly. Nice, nice. Yeah, I just uh, gave a little donation to, uh, I turned around to look at this poster I have of, <laughs> of Burning Sky with Aaron White. We got a Grammy nomination for that. And uh, Aaron did a thing yesterday that uh, uh, all the money went to uh, Navajo Nation, you know, because, uh, they, like I said, the, uh, they're getting hit hard and, and um, yeah. So there's two cents, two more cents. Yeah. Well, you know, we're talking about this time and transition and in places. And, you know, I always think like this Native Americana, what is the, this term, this genre? But I think like you guys were all already out there on that alternative path a long time ago. You know, we talked a lot about your music and the the um the spirits that you guys hear the, your your songs already you know like tell yeah. tell me a little bit about that experience john yeah and, and let me click connect it to 
to to you guys. Uh, there's a video of Floyd saying, um, you know, the uh, the Europeans came over here and they they didn't adhere the first instructions. You know, like uh, the um, the water is sacred, and you know, and then um, in the '60s we wrote. What have they done to the earth? What have they done to our fair sister? Stuck her with knives in the side of the dawn, tied her with fences and dragged her down. I hear a very gentle sound with your ear down to the ground. We want the world and we want it now. So during this cocoon time, we're amassing new ideas <clears throat> so we can see that beautiful butterfly. That's a good. Uh, have you been been able to write at all during this time? Have you been creative at at all? What's going yeah. on? Yeah, yeah. I I have a new book uh, coming out in the fall, and I'm just finishing that up. And uh, it's um, it's called the Seekers' Meetings with Remarkable Musicians, <laughs> and each chapter is about. <clears throat> somebody who has fed me uh, Bob Marley, Patti Smith, Ravi Shankar. Can't wait to hear it um, and read it. I was just reading this one, John. <laughs> yeah. these, guys, these guys in here, <laughs> tell us about this. <laughs> you bought that? I didn't give it to you? <laughs> no, I got it when you were at this uh, book signing. Oh, that, that's right. So, you know, um, what, what is really beautiful is our connection. Uh, I don't know if I, I ever told you this. Um, my ancestry, you know, I'm Irish and, and, and we came over on the Mayflower and um, there was a John Dinsmore in 18 something or other who got captured by the Cherokee and was about to get burned and then the chief said no 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 he he's a good guy and uh, that john densmore and the chief uh, were pals the rest of their life and uh, and i also think about francis densmore who who documented all the um native american chants and and i just love my connection to you well francis densmore did a lot of work in the Anishinaabe country and uh, recorded a lot of the cylinder recordings, you know, around the turn of the century and things like that. John, yeah. I always tribute this, uh, this lyrics to the birth of uh, Native Americana music. The children are cool, they don't raise fools. It's an American dream. Includes Indians to San Francisco. Well, yeah, I gotta give me the background too. Oh, oh. Children are cool. <laughs> they don't raise fool. It's American dream. Includes Indians to San Francisco. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Uh, <laughs> includes Indians too. I mean, uh, y'all, as they say in the South, y'all were the first people, you know, we're second. Now, I, I, I got to get a drum. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this drum. I was just going to uh, uh, have it. Too. Maybe we could play together. I don't know. Uh, Zoom isn't that great, but we could try something, you know. There's the drum. Is where your poem comes in, Johnny. Your rant, Memorial Day <laughs> rant. <laughs> I already did it. <laughs> yeah, well, if I could hear the guitar a little louder, then I could drum with you. I don't know. I think it, the Zoom isn't that great of a thing, but just okay. give us a little bit of drum and a little bit of free pulse. Oh, put me on the spot. Um, Let's see. All right. So 
Um, let's see, um, uh, an excerpt from Jim, Jim Morrison's American Prayer. Let's see. Um, wait a minute. Do you know the warm progress under the stars? Do you know we exist? Have we forgotten the keys to the kingdom? Have we been born yet? And are we alive? Let's reinvent the gods, all the myths of the ages. Celebrate symbols from deep elder forests. Have we forgotten the lessons of the ancient war? You know we are being led to slaughters by placid admirals and that fat, slow generals are getting obscene on young blood? Wow. I'm sick of doubt. I'm sick of dour faces staring at me from the TV tower. I want roses in my garden bower. Dig? Royal rubies like Kisakola. Oh, great creator of being, grant us one more hour to perform our art and perfect our lives. <laughs> yeah, <It's> man. <laughs> John, we hiked up behind me. Remember we hiked in the desert that time in Arizona? Of course I do. That uh, was the, the area that is behind that, me right now. Oh, that's great. Great. And you know, Keith, I wanted to tell you that on that hike, um, every time we went through an area of, of, of rocks, big ones or whatever, that was kind of like a threshold, you said, hey, the, the way to uh, do this is to turn around before you go through the threshold. Therefore, uh, you know, that's reminding you that you might learn something and, and uh, you know, like we go through this virus and we'll learn. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, gee, global warming is happening. We, we do have a big footprint. Okay, well, let's take a look at this because we're air is kind of cleaner and interesting, huh? Anyway, I always, when I go on any walk now, I see some uh, archway that I have to go through and I think of you and I turn around before I do it. All right. A couple of things too. So Evo can follow you and then you're entering into another universe. <laughs> Say that again. Evo cannot follow you. It'll uh, throw them off. And then you're also entering into another universe. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Beautiful. How about um, one door story today? Can you give us a door story, you think? Oh, doors, doors, doors. Um, okay, so I'm kind of on this uh, ecological theme, uh, w which is the silver lining of this virus that uh, we're learning that uh, if we do slow down, uh, the earth uh, gets, a, a break. And so Jim wrote um, uh, this song. What was it called? Uh, uh oh, my brain. Uh, uh, I know this uh, critic said it was ecological rock. And back then, that term had never been used, and he was meaning it negatively. And uh, uh, it, it was, oh, yeah, I can't think of the title, but the human race is dying out. No one left to scream and shout. People walking on the moon, smog going to get you really soon. So um, anyway, that's, what's the, Keith, I can't remember the title. <laughs> Ship of Fools. That, there it is. Ship the of Ship Fools. of Fools, what a great song, man. <laughs> you guys were out there far, far out there all the way around, you know? Wait, wait what's behind you now? Uh, the figure of God. Woo! Arizona, kind of where we hiked, you know, the Apache people call it the finger of God. Beautiful. And, uh, it's a uh, weaver's needle is the English word uh, for it. Uh, you know, we just did an interesting thing, John, with this uh, a nurse, a therapist, and she developed this uh, COVID wheel, medicine wheel, kind of, and talked about spirituality during this time and things like that. 
And you talked about almost the, you know, the same kind of things and any advice and words that you could tell people today. Well, it, it is what is behind you? Is that the, the wheel? That's her, yeah, interpretation, you know, a tribal kind of a medicine wheel. Wow. Nice. I'd like to have a, uh, can you send that to me? Yeah, we'll send it to you, John, Good. And, Good. and share it. And, you know, thanks for coming on the audio cafe today, you know, like, we could, this is your, your habitat, Ringo, you know, in the octopus's garden, where you're more comfortable. <laughs> that's, that's your brilliance, my friend. You, you, uh, you use humor um, to say difficult things, you know, like Indian cars is a hysterical song and also very profound because, you know, why are there Indian cars? Because of economic deprivation, goddammit. Anyway, uh, much respect. Well, you get it, John. I know like humor is a very high taxonomy of uh, human learning. And so, you know, it's one of the highest forms of thinking. And so we can get out there far and using our humor as metaphors, using our humor as a symbolic uh, philosophies, uh, spiritualities, code, you know, and, and kind of, instead of giving people an easy path to knowledge, let people pick it and earn it and kind of, uh, you know, understand it. So that's yeah, well, your time and, and, and sometimes uh, they can't take it except with humor. Um, and also, when you get to my age, humor is really important. <laughs> You gotta laugh in the face of this. <laughs> oh, John, let's play a little drum and flute chant. Beautiful. Today. Okay. <laughs> Hey, you know, this is pretty cool, this Zoom business. I, I like the way you got the background changing and <laughs> I just kind of low low tech, you know, but high high fun kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll I'll have a drink too. All right. So John Trudell, um, uh, my DNA needs THC. Oh God, <laughs> my phone just went off. Sorry. That, that was good. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, maybe we can. Uh, oh, so this isn't live. No, it isn't live. It's it's. Oh. Uh, we'll we'll be able to edit it. Okay, so you know, in case I say the word. F okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.